Need you help? I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. It started with the end of wipe events last wipe where I noticed a large portion of the community doesn't know how to fight as a squad and against squads. I'll be going over 3 or so clips explaining aggressive positioning which is how I would push into a defensive position, defensive positioning which is things you have to look out for when trying to hold the position, and rotations. It's a 5v5 near the end of wipe and we're holding down a kitchen just messing around on labs. This 5 man decides to funnel in all 5 people through one doorway. Never do this. It's unnecessary to have more than 2 guys for one door or angle. Because there's only enough cover for one person to be able to fight and retreat safely. The option of wide swinging is there of course, and that's where the second guy comes into play. There's only enough room for two people to aggress into a choke. If one or both of these two die, by the time the third and fourth can be of use, you can compartmentalize both groups as two different fights meaning they won't be supporting each other. Which is exactly what happens here. I had enough time to reload and re-peek. Who is shooting? The guy outside the double door. Let's see how they could have played this better. Going with a 2 player per choke rule, we have 3 players free to split off. They should all be thinking of ways to approach the fight and be of use to group 1. These guys can clear out kitchen together so they can have an effective 2 to 4 guys being useful rather than 1 or 2. That's probably the most simple play, but still much more effective than funneling everyone into a choke. If you learn the map layout, you can think of more complex but effective ways of attacking a defensive hold. They could have sent two guys to flank the long hallway and have one guy below nading and forcing out positions, so the rest of the team can push and work their angles easier. The guy nading can also support the push through the staircase below. Now I know what you're thinking, this is hindsight 2020, there's no way you can plan this on the fly. That's where you're wrong. This guy with the RPK wasn't me fighting. While my teammate was fighting for his life, I followed the 2 man per angle rule and held my spot. I was on the windows covering for anyone that would potentially nade through the windows or use the lower staircase to push. We had another guy covering the rear flank for anyone trying to push the hallway. If at that moment I wasn't able to come up with that strategy, then why would I be covering it? For every engagement immediately on contact with the enemy, you should be thinking about the best way to utilize your map to your advantage. Now moving on to attacking a defensive position. This raid we're going to level up our endurance and strength at the back of Goshan, then rotate out secret to tech stores. Unfortunately one of our guys skilled a little too far through the center of Goshan and fell over. This was easy as that. Because if we go above, we get them. Oh my, oh my, oh my, you're dead? Yeah. We're down to three people now. We split at the start of the race, so one of us is at tech light. The call from the dead guy was around three ish players, so it's a 3v3. We know they're around mid Goshan, so we venture out a bit deeper to see if we can catch one or two. I only have a one times optic and we weren't pushing yet, so I hold the cafe pixel peaks, while my teammate with a high zoom optic tries to get a pick or two from long range. Our third teammate has now rotated upstairs to cover front Goshan exits. Who's the cafe right now? Not us. I think I might have gone them both. I don't know. He's still alive, still alive. I'm nading, I'm nading, I'm nading. Still, still in cafe. He taps one for sure, and he isn't sure the second guy is dead. This is where we decide to push, but instead of funneling all of us into dark corner crossfires, we split up to attack and clear from different angles. The teammate in Goshan with me is going to flex library to get a long range angle into the front of Goshan. I'll be heading out secret into Rast, then Avocado. And since my rotate is going to take longer, the guy above will cover Octagon so he can cover anyone trying to escape through Avocado. Once I'm in Rast, I can cover Avocado exit so my teammate above will rotate down to support my push. Sprinting? You just sprinted out of calf! Are you in Avocado? Oh, you're in, you're in G. Someone's sprinted out of calf. Okay. To where? To where? I don't know. Right to left. Towards mid mall somewhere. In the tent maybe? I see him cross my screen, so he's either in the store across from cafe or trying to escape out front mall. The guy supporting me then rotates to cover front mall, while library guy pushes up so we can collapse the store together. He's not sandbags. I, I see behind sandbags already. Campfire or in the store? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna push, dude. I'm ready. Coming in. I'm coming to the side. I don't know if he's in or he went front mall, I couldn't tell. Maybe front mall too. Okay. Are you pushing? Yeah, I'm already pushed up. I don't see you, what the fuck, do you think? I'm on top of the tent now. Chicken brutal. Oh, brutal, brutal, brutal. 
I'm brutal. brutal. Okay, okay. You're in. If you coordinate to clear like this, very rarely will you lose half your team to people holding defensive positions. Here's the issue. How am I so confident rotating? How do I know there isn't someone in Ollie blasting me in the side of the head on my way to Rasmussen? I can never know for sure, but there are a couple things that can help me take an educated guess. First is thinking about information during raid. Things like counting players. I have four in my squad. The squad I'm fighting has three. If I met them this early into raid, that must mean they had a spawn close to us. Which means there can only be five other players on the map spread out in the spawns furthest away from us. Can they be interfering with my rotate during this time of the raid? Or maybe you heard a gunfight a minute or two ago. Assuming the scale of the fight, is there enough time for them to sprint into a place that'll cut my rotate? Finding answers to questions like these will help you guess whether a part of the map is safe or dangerous. Second is understanding player behavior. Every Tarkov player goes into raid with some sort of goal. And every goal takes time, and that's how hotspots and cold spots are created. Take Radicombs on a reserve for example. It takes time to fight raiders. Time to search the bags and pockets, and it takes time to search the crates in the middle. Because so much time is used to do these things, the likelihood of running into someone in the bunker is really high. Loot spots like back of Ollie takes less time because the player doesn't have to search for anything. They just look at the shelf, press F, and dip. So running into someone holding me here is less likely. And open areas that are only used for rotations, running into someone here is very rare as it only takes a couple seconds to run down a path. If you end up fighting someone in this area, you're either super unlucky or the guy you're fighting is a special breed. Third, which is only applicable for squad play and the whole point of the video, is your squad positioning. Watch what happens the moment we enter the mall. LA, I'm going tech late, I'm ahead of everyone, I'm going tech late. Okay, I'm gonna go tech then. Okay. Where do I wanna go? We go Rast. I'll go upstairs too, fuck okay. it, I don't I, know. I go, I go German Rast. I, I don't want loot. Upstairs doesn't need help. No, I'm just gonna shoot stuff from, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm a spotter. Dude. All, all he needs help, all he needs help the most. Oh, okay, I'll sw swing down tech. We spread out. Why? To expand our hearing and vision range. If we split like this, we can cover a much larger area than playing dick to butt. Because we have people listening and watching different areas. This frees up and gives safe rotations in a huge part of the map. It's alright to group and travel somewhere, but once you've reached your destination, spread out. I see so many squads that don't spread and they stack hearing and vision ranges with each other. Take the squad on interchange for example. If the moment they blast at my friend they split, something like one in cafe near tents, one in bizarro, and one near mid mall, the guy in cafe would have heard me. The guy in Bazaar would have been able to catch my buddy going to library. And the outcome of the fight might have been very different. I know there's some comfort in stacking with your friends, but unless you're trying to trade one for one into a doorway, you're just asking to be mowed down. When playing split up like this, if you encounter players and you don't instantly win the fight, do not commit. Play it like you're playing CSGO or Valorant CT side and rotate out to stay alive. Wait for your teammates to rotate in and support you. You should never be fighting in a way or position yourself in a way where you get caught and die. Always have an escape route that you can use to fall back to your teammates. This is crucial for the first wipe timmies out there. Loot rooms aren't important, you can always share loot at the end of the raid. If you're not spreading out your squad, then you're spreading your cheeks. He's eating some shit here, right? I think. Yeah, he dropped his bag, I think he's in red. I mean the man is watching right now, he's right next to me. Okay. I'm peeking ground. I think he's in red. Oh, remember your US Pro, dude. It's that fixation. Are, right. Is that two of you crawling up? Yeah. Okay. Let's shut the door on him. No? It's that fixation. Hey, I'm, I'm a bot. I want to throw it in. Cross over first and I'll open it back up. He's in oh. no, he, Impact, 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 impact. Wait, wait, wait. Very far, very far. Are you okay? No, we're just wall banging the door. I'm gonna play far from ground floor. Is that your ground floor? Someone yeah, I'm ground floor, I'm ground floor. He's. I'm, I'm watching his drop. He can't drop. Yeah, he can. Yeah, can you? He can't jump out of there. Yeah, I thought you could. Alright, I'm gonna open that door and run away, okay? Me, me, me. Is the couch? Oh, he impacted. I, I'm gonna lie. I'm throwing grenades too. Okay, he's dead. Throwing one more, throwing one more, careful. Is it dead? Is it dead body? One more, one more, one more net. How many? How many? How many? Alright. You good? Yeah. 
spreading in. Holy shit, the okay. There's a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whoever has this. <laughs> 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 